The paper presents a formal framework for reasoning about translational separation logic verifiers. It introduces a generic core intermediate verification language, IVL, that captures the essence of different separation logics. The operational semantics of this IVL is defined and formally connected to two different backend verifiers, which use symbolic execution and verification condition generation, respectively. An axiomatic semantics for the core IVL simplifies reasoning about the front-end translation by performing essential proof steps once and for all in the equivalence proof with the operational semantics rather than for each concrete front-end translation. The paper illustrates the usefulness of this formal framework by instantiating the core IVL with elements of Viper and connecting it to two Viper backends as well as a front-end for concurrent separation logic. All technical results have been formalized in Isabel, whole, including the core IVL and its semantics, the semantics of two backends for a subset of Viper, and all proofs. The paper discusses the challenges in developing and verifying intermediate verification languages, IVLs, for formal reasoning about translational verifiers. It highlights three main challenges, defining the semantics of the IVL, connecting the IVL to backends, and connecting the IVL to frontends. The authors emphasize that these challenges are particularly significant for IVLs that natively support complex reasoning principles such as separation logic and its variations. For instance, Separation logic-based IVLs offer complex primitives for manipulating separation logic resources, which can be used to encode a large variety of input program features. Soundness requires that successful verification of an IVL program by a backend verifier implies the correctness of the IVL program. A soundness proof needs to formally connect the concrete verification algorithm to the IVL semantics and consider the proof search strategies and optimizations performed by a concrete backend verifier. The third challenge is connecting the IVL to frontends. Soundness also requires that the correctness of the IVL program implies the correctness of the input program with respect to its intended verification logic. This paper presents a framework for formally justifying translational separation logic verifiers, introducing a generic intermediate verification language, core IVL, which captures the essence of different IVLs based on separation logics. Core IVL can be instantiated with various statements, assertion languages, and separation algebras, including a generalized notion of separation algebra that models the implicit dynamic frames logic used in Viper. The paper addresses the challenge of defining the semantics of core IVL using dual non-determinism, which includes both demonic and angelic non-determinism. This approach abstracts over different proof search strategies employed by backends, ensuring that the IVL program verifies if any of these strategies succeed. An operational semantics for core IVL is defined, incorporating dual non-determinism and being parametric in the separation algebra. This facilitates proving a formal connection to concrete verification algorithms used in backends, such as symbolic execution for separation logic verifiers and encoding IVL programs into a further, more basic IVL like Boogie. The novelty of this approach lies in its comprehensive framework for formally justifying translational separation logic verifiers, bridging the gap between complex research papers and concise, informative summaries for expert audiences. Prior works have either focused on specific aspects of translational verifiers with IVLs based on separation logic or have not addressed all three challenges outlined in the paper. Title. Bridging the Semantic Gap in Translational Verification of SLBASED IVLs. This paper introduces a novel approach to bridging the semantic gap between the front-end and back-end levels in translational verification of separation logic-based intermediate verification languages, SLBASED IVLs. The authors propose a parametric core language called Core IVL, designed to represent various variants of separation logic and can be instantiated with different state models and assertions. The paper demonstrates how to encode a concurrent separation logic front-end proof for a parallel program into Core IVL, mimicking the approach of modern translational verifiers. It also presents a formal operational semantics for core IVL, which is designed to enable soundness proofs for diverse existing backend verification algorithms. 
Furthermore, the authors define an alternative axiomatic semantics for core IVL and prove its equivalence with the operational semantics. They showcase the practical applicability of their formal framework by instantiating core IVL with elements of Viper and proving the soundness of two verification backends. A formalization of the central features of Viper's symbolic execution backend and a pre-existing formalization of Viper's verification condition generator. The paper concludes by discussing related work and outlining future research directions. All formalizations and proofs in this paper are mechanized in the Isabel Proof Assistant. Formal foundations for translational separation logic verifiers are established through the introduction of a core language, Core IVL, which captures essential aspects of SLBASED verifiers such as Viper, Jillian, and Very Fast. Core IVL manipulates SL states using inhale and exhale primitives which assume logical constraints and add or remove resources from the current state. The language's design acknowledges the diversity of logics and semantics in existing SLBASED IVLs, including various separation logics, connectives, and their semantics. A key innovation is the introduction of IDF algebra, which models separation logics and IDF, enabling the assertion of knowledge about heap location values without asserting ownership. The syntax of core IVL is defined, with assertions represented semantically as sets of states. This core language aims to provide a standardized approach for generic reasoning over broad classes of separation logics. By formalizing the foundations of translational separation logic verifiers, core IVL facilitates a deeper understanding of the underlying principles and enables the development of more efficient and effective verification tools. The language's design and IDF algebra enable the expression of complex logical constraints and the manipulation of SL states, making it a valuable contribution to the field of separation logic in its applications. This page presents a simple parallel program with annotations for method preconditions, parallel branches, and their encoding into core IVL. The program allocates a new cell, assigns the value of an input cell to the new cell and a temporary variable adds the new cell's value to the temporary variable, deallocates the new cell, and asserts that the temporary variable equals the sum of the input cell's value and itself. The encoding into core IVL includes a main IVL method and two further methods modeling the parallel branches. The main method uses inhale and exhale statements to manage permissions and havoc to non-deterministically assign values. The parallel branches are modeled using two additional methods, one for each branch of the parallel composition rule in concurrent separation logic, CSL. The goal is to verify this program in CSL by encoding it in the CSL proof rules into core IVL. This involves proving that the assertion on the last line holds, which can be achieved by leveraging the syntax of IDF to annotate the program. The IDF syntax includes fractional permission and wildcard permissions, which are used to manage read and write access to heap locations. The paper presents a formal foundation for translational separation logic verifiers, focusing on encoding source-level parallel composition into an IVL program. It demonstrates how the correctness of an example program can be proven by mapping it to an IVL program, whose correctness implies the existence of a valid CSL proof for the original program. The encoding process involves modeling each proof task of the CSL verification problem as a separate IVL method. The IVL methods main underscore IVL, lander are constructed such that the correctness of all three implies the existence of a valid CSL proof for main. The precondition ACC, page V, underscore, of main is modeled by the first inhale statement in main underscore IVL, reflecting that the proof of the main method may rely on the resources and assumptions guaranteed by this precondition. The allocation Q equals new cell is then encoded via havoc and an inhale statement to non-deterministically choose a memory location and obtain a full, i.e., 1, permission. Dually, the deallocation free, Q, after the parallel composition is encoded via an exhale statement, which removes this, full, permission from the IVL state. Since permissions are non-duplicable, technically, affine, resources. This encoding guarantees that no permission can remain and so any attempt to later access this location would cause a verification failure. The paper also explains the encoding of a source-level parallel composition, 
using the CSL proof rule 3. This rule allows the overall effect of the parallel composition to be seen as giving up the separating conjunction U1D443, U1D459 asterisk operator, U1D443, U1D45F of the preconditions of the parallel branches, and obtaining the corresponding post conditions, U1D444, U1D459 asterisk operator. U1D444, U1D45F before resuming any remaining code. The premises of the parallel rule are checked by verifying two extra methods lander, whose pre and post conditions correspond to the Hort triples from the rule premises directly. The encoded bodies of lander follow the standard pattern, an inhale of their preconditions, the translation of their source implementations, and finally an exhale of their post conditions. If running a back-end verifier for the IVL on the three encoded methods succeeds, we have demonstrated that a CSL proof for the original program exists, provided that the translational verification is sound. Soundness depends on a non-trivial translation, the subtle semantics of an IVL, and the algorithms employed by back-end verifiers. The operational semantics of core IVL is defined through a multi-relation approach, capturing both demonic and angelic choices. The set of possible final states after executing a statement is represented by U1D446. Simplified operational semantics rules are provided for inhale, exhale, and sequential composition. The inhale rule allows for all possible combinations of states satisfying the given permission, reflecting demonic non-determinism. The exhale rule uses angelic non-determinism, allowing any choice of state that satisfies the given permission to be removed from the initial state. The concept of correctness for a core IVL statement is defined as executing successfully in a well-formed initial state, leading to a set of possible final states. A statement is considered valid if it is correct for all well-formed initial states. This comprehensive understanding of core IVL's operational semantics is crucial for grasping how the language handles non-determinism and its implications for statement correctness and validity. The paper discusses the formal foundations for translational separation logic verifiers, focusing on the operational and axiomatic semantics of core IVL. It presents an operational semantics for core IVL, capturing the dual non-determinism inherent in the language. This operational semantics is connected to formalizations of two main backend verifiers used by Viper, proving their soundness. The paper also introduces an alternative axiomatic semantics for core IVL, which uses judgments of the form delta provable from U1D443, U1D436, U1D444, where U1D443 and U1D444 are semantic assertions. U1D436 is an IVL statement, and delta is a type context. The soundness property from operational to axiomatic semantics is established, showing that if a core IVL statement is well typed and valid, then there exists a set of states, U1D435 such that delta provable from U1D436, U1D435, holds. The rules for the axiomatic semantics of inhale, exhale, and sequential composition are presented, with the inhale rule corresponding to the operational rule and the exhale rule requiring weakening of the initial states. This work aims to bridge the semantic gap between the operational IVL semantics and the front-end logic, facilitating the connection of back-end verifiers to front-end programs. The axiomatic semantics for core IVL a low-level intermediate verification language, is presented through a set of rules that define how to reason about core IVL programs using a Hoare logic style. These rules abstract over the low-level details of the operational semantics, such as the dual non-determinism inherent in the language. This abstraction enables the construction of a CSL proof for the front-end program from the correctness of the IVL program. The rules include an f slash r dot sc slash a dot sc slash m dot sc slash e dot sc rule for function calls, which hides the induction necessary to reason about unbounded while loops behind a loop invariant. An e slash x dot sc slash h dot sc slash a dot sc slash l dot sc slash e dot sc rule for angelic choice is also presented 
where the choice is hidden in the choice of U1D 444 and the split of every state in U1D 443 into a state in U1D 444 and a state in U1D 434. Additionally, the s-e.sc-q.sc rule for sequential composition illustrates how the axiomatic semantics abstracts over the low-level details of the dual non-determinism in the operational semantics. The axiomatic semantics contains exactly one rule per statement, with no structural rules such as a frame rule or a consequence rule, which are not necessary in this setting. This approach allows for a direct connection between the correctness of the IVL program and the correctness of the front-end program using the axiomatic semantics. By constructing a CSL proof for the front-end program from the correctness of the IVL program, using the CSL rules and the core IVL triples obtained from Theorem 2, the paper demonstrates a novel method for bridging the gap between complex research papers and concise, informative summaries for expert audiences. Formal foundations for translational separation logic verifiers are established, with a focus on the extended version. A step-by-step -step process is presented to justify the translational verification of a program in core IVL language. This involves using a back-end verifier, axiomatic IVL semantics, and CSL triples. First, the authors demonstrate that successful verification of the core IVL encoding implies the validity of the core IVL program. This is achieved through the soundness theorem for axiomatic IVL semantics, which derives judgments in the axiomatic semantics. These judgments are then used to prove the desired CSL triple. The paper also introduces an operational and axiomatic semantics for the core IVL language. This includes an IDF algebra that captures both separation logic and the frame rule. The IDF algebra provides a formal framework for reasoning about the core IVL language enabling the verification of programs that exploit separation logic and the frame rule. The proposed approach provides a rigorous foundation for translational separation logic verifiers, enabling the verification of complex programs that rely on separation logic and the frame rule. The formal foundations established in this paper paved the way for the development of more advanced verification tools and techniques. The authors introduce an algebra for separation logic in implicit dynamic frames, defining a partial commutative monoid, sigma, circled plus, to capture various separation logic state models. Specifically, the state model sigma SL is a partial function from a set of heap locations to pairs of values and positive fractional permissions. In contrast, the state model sigma IDF separates values and permissions allowing states where a location has a value but no permission. The IDF algebra is defined as a set of states sigma, equipped with a partial addition circled plus, endomorphisms, underscore, and stabilize, and a predicate stable. The partial order induced by circled plus is required to be positive and antisymmetric. The endomorphisms, underscore, and stabilize project a state onto its largest duplicable and stable parts, respectively. This algebraic framework provides a foundation for reasoning about separation logic in implicit dynamic frames, enabling the composition and decomposition of states in a principled way. By separating values and permissions, the authors enable more expressive and flexible state models, which can capture a broader range of program behaviors. The formal foundations of translational separation logic verifiers are established, focusing on the extended version. In the IDF state model sigma IDF, instantiations are introduced, where two states combine as long as they agree on locations with non-zero permissions and their permissions sum to at most one. Separation algebra instances can be instantiated as IDF algebras, with stable being true for all states and stabilize being the identity function on sigma. The state model for core IVL is obtained by extending an IDF algebra with a store of local variables defined as the product algebra for sigma. The store is instantiated to the agreement algebra, ensuring that inhale and exhale have no effect on local variables. The paper defines a general notion of self-framing IDF assertions and assertions framing other assertions. An IDF assertion is self-framing if it contains all its stabilized states, and a state frames an assertion if the stabilized state is in the assertion. An assertion frames another assertion if all its stabilized states frame the other assertion. 
Finally, an assertion frames an expression if the expression is defined for all states in the assertion. The operational semantics of core IVL are formally defined for the given state model, using judgments of the form gamma provable from T, U right pointing arrow delta, U. This operational semantics ensures that only well-typed states are dealt with, as defined by the type context delta. Core IVL, a programming language designed for reasoning about low-level memory management, has both operational and axiomatic semantics. The operational semantics rules, as shown in FIG. 6, include inhale, exhale, and skip statements. These rules preserve the stability of states, ensuring that the language's operations maintain the integrity of the system state. The axiomatic semantics, presented in FIG. 7. Uses an extended state model with judgments of the form delta provable from U1D443, U1D436, U1D444. This model allows for reasoning about the correctness and behavior of core IVL programs, providing a foundation for formal verification and analysis. In summary, Coreval's operational semantics focuses on the execution of the language's statements, while its axiomatic semantics provides a framework for understanding the language's behavior and correctness. This combination enables developers to write and verify low-level memory management code with confidence, ensuring the reliability and efficiency of their programs. Formal foundations for translational separation logic verifiers are established through axiomatic semantic rules which ensure the equivalence of operational and axiomatic semantics. Self-framing conditions are crucial in this context, as they guarantee that preconditions and postconditions are self-framing, bridging the gap between a valid core IVL program and the front-end program logic. The authors present a series of axiomatic semantic rules, including self-framing, inhale, exhale, if statements, havoc, and assignment. These rules enable a smooth transition between operational and axiomatic semantics. The soundness property, expressed in Theorem 2, is essential for bridging this gap. The proof of Theorem 2 involves tracking angelic choices based on the sequence of past states of each execution, as demonstrated by Lemma 2. In Lemma 2, the authors define a set omega of lists of past states paired with current states and a function, U1D446 mapping elements from omega to sets of states. They show that if for all, U1D459, U1D714, element of omega, we have stable, U1D714, and, in, brackedly, T, U1D436, U1D714, and, bracketry, HT right pointing arrow delta, U1D446, U1D459, U1D714, then delta provable from U1D443, U1D436, U1D445. This approach is necessary because tracking only the current state would not allow proving the case for sequential composition. The authors provide an example scenario where keeping track of single states and using a function U1D446 to map single states to a set of states would be insufficient, as it might lead to different sets of states after executing U1D4361 and U1D4362 in different initial states. Overall, the paper presents a comprehensive framework for translational separation logic verifiers, emphasizing the importance of self-framing conditions and the need to track sequences of past states to ensure the soundness property. Core IVL is a novel framework for formalizing the operational and axiomatic semantics of intermediate verification languages, or IVLs. IVLs play a crucial role in the development of verification tools, and Core IVL provides a comprehensive approach to defining their semantics. The framework consists of three key components, an intermediate dataflow framework, or IDF, a set of custom statements, and operational and axiomatic semantic rules. These rules ensure the consistency between the operational and axiomatic semantics, which is guaranteed by the soundness and completeness properties. The authors instantiate core IVL for the Viper language, resulting in Viper core, by defining an IDF algebra, custom statements such as field assignments, and operational and axiomatic semantic rules. They provide proofs for the soundness and completeness of these rules, 
demonstrating the practical applicability of core IVL. The paper explores the application of Viper Core in formalizing the soundness of different backend verifiers, including symbolic execution and verification condition generation, or VCG, algorithms. These algorithms are commonly used in practice, and the authors demonstrate how Coreval semantics can accommodate fundamentally different verification algorithms, showcasing its versatility and practical relevance. Overall, Core IVL provides a significant contribution to the field of formal verification by offering a comprehensive framework for defining the semantics of IVLs. Its potential to enhance the development of verification tools and improve the reliability of software systems is substantial. The paper delves into the formal foundations for translational separation logic verifiers, focusing on the extended version of the concept. It provides a detailed description of symbolic states and excerpts from SIGZEC, S-Produce, and SCONSUME, which are essential components in the verification process. The full definition of these components can be found in the appendix. The authors highlight the differences between two backends, VCGSEM and Viper Core, which implement distinct proof search algorithms. VCGSEM uses a total heap, while Viper Core is based on a partial heap. This distinction is crucial for capturing existing symbolic execution algorithms. Moreover, VCGSEM employs demonic choice when exhaling wildcard permissions, whereas Viper Core uses angelic choice. Despite these differences, the authors demonstrate that ViperCore's operational semantics is general enough to capture VCGSEM, which embodies Viper's VCG backend. This generality is achieved through Coreval's use of angelic choice. The paper also formalizes a symbolic execution backend for ViperCore in Isabel, whole, based on the description by Schwerhoff and inspired by Zimmerman et al.'s work. Symbolic states are defined as consisting of a symbolic store, a path condition, and a symbolic heap. The symbolic heap is represented as a list of heap chunks, each corresponding to a location on the heap store. The paper emphasizes the importance of angelic choice in enabling Coreval's generality for justifying multiple common verification strategies. Symbolic execution of a Viper Core program is facilitated by the SIGZEC function, which delegates tasks to four key functions, sproduce, sconsume, S cleanup, and SEXP. These functions respectively handle inhaling an assertion, exhaling an assertion, removing empty heap chunks, and symbolically evaluating an expression. Formalized as functions in Isabel, whole, they can be executed within the prover to verify a concrete program. State consolidation algorithms play a crucial role in symbolic execution, as they merge chunks for the same location and deduce additional information. The consolidate function, used to model inhaling in a Cree source during S-Produce, allows for multiple implementations due to its semantic characterization. The soundness of SIGZEC is proven against the operational semantics of Viper Core, ensuring that if SIGZEC evaluates to true for a given syntactic statement, Viper Core state, and symbolic state, then the compilation function from syntactic statements to Viper Core statements is correct for the initial state. This guarantees the correctness of the compilation process, providing a foundation for reliable program verification. Formal foundations for translational separation logic verifiers, extended version, discusses the soundness of exhaling wildcards via angelic choice in the context of formal foundations for translational separation logic verifiers. The paper highlights the most interesting part of this soundness proof, which is exhaling wildcards. Exhaling assertions is handled by the consume function in fig.8, where it finds and removes a matching chunk from the symbolic heap using the extract function. Then, it adds the chunk back with its permission amount halved. This algorithm cannot be directly represented in Viper Core due to the structure of the symbolic heap, but the angelic choice in the operational semantics allows us to pick any non-zero permission amount to remove when constructing the Viper Core execution. The paper also describes how to connect the Viper Core instantiation of Core IVL to the VCG SEM formalization of Viper's VCG, which is expressed as an operational big step semantics. The key result of Parthasarathy et al. 42 is that for each successful verification run of the VCG algorithm, they provide a proof that the VCG SEM execution does not fail. 
The connection between VCG-SEM and Viper Core is interesting because VCG-SEM makes various design choices specific to the Viper backend that it was designed to represent. By proving VCG-SEM sound against Viper Core, we show that Core IVL has a general semantics for verification algorithms that can capture this pre-existing verification algorithm. The most significant challenge in the proof connecting VCG-SEM and Viper Core is the difference in their heap representations. VCG-SEM uses a total heap representation, while Viper Core uses a more standard partial heap. This mismatch means that a Viper Core execution does not correspond to a single VCG-SEM execution but a set of VCG-SEM executions. The reason for this mismatch is in the semantics of exhale, where a Viper semantics needs to pick a fresh value for the location such that one cannot unsoundly assume that the value remained unchanged between the inhale and exhale. This requirement is naturally expressed with the partial heap of Viper Core. The paper discusses the operational semantics of Core IVL, a new intermediate verification language designed to bridge the gap between high-level programming languages and low-level verification tools. It presents a novel approach to address the challenges of integrating different verification backends and frontends, ensuring soundness and efficiency in the verification process. The authors first introduce the concept of operational semantics for core IVL, which captures the essence of both symbolic execution and verification condition generation, VCG, backends. They demonstrate how this semantics can be used to solve challenge 2 by being general enough to capture the two predominant verification algorithms implemented in practice, symbolic execution and VCG. In the following section, the authors focus on front-end soundness showing how core IVL's operational semantics addresses challenge 3. They formalize and prove the soundness of a concrete front-end translation into Viper core for a parallel programming language called PAR-IMP. This language includes loops, shared memory, and dynamic memory allocation and deallocation. The paper also defines an IDFBASED program logic for PAR-IMP, which is analogous to concurrent separation logic, CSL. The authors build and prove the soundness of this program logic, demonstrating how their framework supports standard separation logic and connecting an IDF logic to Viper Core. Overall, the paper presents a comprehensive approach to integrating different verification backends and frontends, ensuring the soundness and efficiency of the verification process. It provides a detailed analysis of the operational semantics of Core IVL and its applications in solving the challenges of verification integration. The paper discusses the formal foundations for translational separation logic verifiers, focusing on the development of an IDFBASED program logic. This logic ensures the soundness of a front-end translation from PAR-IMP programs with annotations into Viper Core programs. The authors present a set of inference rules adapted from standard CSL rules to the IDF setting. They prove the adequacy of this IDFBASED program logic in Isabel, stating that if a triple delta provable from CSL, phi, p, psi, holds, then executing p in a well-typed state will not abort or encounter any data race, and the post-condition psi will be satisfied after execution. The paper concludes by outlining a sound front-end translation from PAR-IMP programs with annotations into Viper Core programs, building on the previously defined IDFBASED program logic. The front-end translation from PAR-IMP to Viper Core is a pivotal process in the research paper, focusing on the translation function and its components. This function takes an annotated PAR-IMP statement as input and returns a pair of a Viper Core statement and a set of Viper Core statements. The first component corresponds to the main translation, while the second component corresponds to auxiliary Viper methods generated during the translation process. The translation of field and variable assignments is straightforward, as well as sequential composition and conditional statements. However, the translation of parallel composition and while loops is more complex, involving the inhale translation exhale pattern and exhale habit inhale pattern. The paper also discusses soundness assuming that the PAR-IMP statement is annotated with a precondition and postcondition. The complete front-end translation yields a set of Viper statements, and the translation is considered sound if certain conditions are met. The soundness of the front-end translation is stated in Theorem 9, 
which requires the validity of specific Viper statements and the auxiliary methods generated during the translation process. The formal foundations for translational separation logic verifiers are grounded in the concept of convertibility. This property, denoted as convertible, C, is a combination of conditions involving validity, inhale-exhale patterns, and auxiliary methods. It ensures that if the translation of every front-end statement into Viper core is valid, then we can convert the axiomatic semantic triples into a front-end triple. A key lemma establishes an inhaled translation exhale pattern, which allows proving theorem 9. This lemma states that if convertible, C, holds, all auxiliary methods from the translation are valid, and a specific inhale exhale pattern holds, then a certain semantic triple can be derived. The authors prove that convertible, C, holds for all front end statements by structural induction. Detailed proofs are provided for allocation, deallocation, parallel compositions, and while loops, demonstrating how these statements follow the exhale habitch inhale pattern. In conclusion, this analysis provides a comprehensive understanding of the formal foundations for translational separation logic verifiers, emphasizing the importance of convertibility and the inhaled translation exhale pattern in establishing the validity of front end statements. Core IVL, a parametric intermediate verification language, abstracts over multiple backends, enabling the development of a sound front end translation for a parallel programming language. This language features loops, dynamic memory allocation, and deallocation, which are not present in IVL. The authors provide a proof for the soundness of this translation, leveraging the axiomatic semantics of core IVL. The proof of convertible, C1, C2, builds upon the proof of convertible, C, applying lemma 3 to auxiliary methods, followed by the rule P slash A dot SC slash R dot SC, and concluding with lemma 4. This approach demonstrates the effectiveness of the axiomatic semantics in solving challenge 3, allowing for the proof of general lemmas about patterns common in front-end translations in a straightforward manner. In comparison to other recent formalizations of IVLs, such as subset of Viper and Gill, the author's approach stands out for its ability to abstract over multiple backends and support for concurrency. The authors also discuss related work, including proofs connecting a front-end with an IVL, highlighting the differences between their approach and others. The proposed approach offers a significant advancement in the development of sound front-end translations for parallel programming languages, overcoming the limitations of existing formalizations. The axiomatic semantics of core IVL provide a solid foundation for proving the soundness of these translations, paving the way for future work in this area. This section of the research paper delves into the formal foundations for translational separation logic verifiers, focusing on the soundness of front-end translations to intermediate verification languages, IVLs, and the connection between IVLs and back-end verification algorithms. The authors introduce a novel approach by employing angelic non-determinism to abstract over different verification algorithms, a concept not previously explored in the context of IVLs. The paper reviews related work on proving the soundness of front-end translations to IVLs, such as translations from D minor to Bemel, C to Y cert, and Viper to Boogie. It emphasizes the distinction between these approaches and their own, which targets a more generic version of IVLs and focuses on the symbolic execution backend presented in the paper. Furthermore, the authors discuss the connection between IVLs and backend verification algorithms, including the work by Parthasarathy et al on the soundness of the Viper backend that translates to Boogie, and Zimmerman et al.'s formalization of a variant of Viper's symbolic execution backend targeted at gradual verification. They also mention Vogel's et al.'s proof of a formalization of Verifast symbolic execution soundness and the use of angelic non-determinism in their work to represent exhale. Additionally, the paper touches on the concept of implicit dynamic frames, IDF, and its relationship with separation logic, SL, as well as the generalization of the notion of a separation algebra to capture arbitrary resource models for IDF and SL. This enables, for instance, a partial heap instantiation for IDF that the authors use to formalize Viper's state model. A formal framework for reasoning about the soundness of translational separation logic verifiers is presented, enabling the definition of an abstract intermediate verification language, or IVL. 
This IVL state model can be instantiated with any IDF algebra, providing a flexible foundation for verification. The framework is equipped with both operational and axiomatic semantics, allowing it to be connected to backends and frontends, respectively. This dual approach enables the capture of different proof strategies implemented by various backend verifiers, a concept referred to as dual non-determinism. The authors demonstrate the framework's utility by instantiating it with elements of Viper, a prominent verification tool, and connecting it to two Viper backends. Furthermore, they leverage the framework to prove the soundness of a front-end translation for an IDF-BASED concurrent separation logic. This achievement showcases the framework's potential in establishing the soundness of complex translational verifiers. The proposed framework offers a foundation for modeling additional IVLs and proving the soundness of complex translational verifiers, paving the way for future research in this direction. By providing a rigorous and flexible framework for reasoning about soundness, this work contributes significantly to the development of trustworthy verification tools. The formal foundation for translational separation logic verifiers is presented, focusing on the symbolic evaluation of expressions within a given symbolic state. A key function, sexp, is defined to take a symbolic state and an expression as input, returning a new symbolic state that reflects the result of the expression's evaluation. This function is defined through several cases, each corresponding to different types of expressions. For instance, if the expression is a variable, sexp checks whether the variable is in the store of the current symbolic state and returns the corresponding value. If the expression is a binary operator, sexp recursively evaluates the two sub-expressions and then applies the operator to their results. The handling of lazy binary operators, such as an and, is not included in this simplified definition. The extraction of values from a symbolic state and the addition of new chunks to the state during the evaluation process are also discussed. This formal foundation aims to provide a rigorous basis for the development of translational separation logic verifiers ensuring that they correctly handle various expressions and maintain the integrity of the symbolic state throughout the verification process.